So today we're going to be discussing about different ways you can use to avoid distraction in this distraction full world that we live in right now it's no news that every single day we tend to have so many things that are fighting for our attention we have social media we have instagram we have facebook x for many known as twitter and so many other things snapchat and all of those things but sometimes i don't know if you've ever been in a situation whereby you just want all these things to just disappear for a while so that you can focus on the things that actually matter in your life i've been there so many times in fact i've had this adrenaline rush or dopamine rush or whatever they call it based on the fact that you're always scrolling on your phone and doing all those things and it affected me a whole lot i'm going to tell you but i found out a way that i could avoid all these things and in turn i made a lot of money in fact, that particular month, I made about $20,000 for myself from my business just because I was now focused on the things that actually matter. So I'm going to be giving you five steps you can use to avoid distraction in this video. So stay tuned. Now, step one, you need to turn off all your notifications. Now, when I say all your notifications, I mean literally everything. Turn off your Instagram notification, your Twitter notification, even your email notification. Now, you might be wondering and say, okay, praise, how exactly do I check out my emails? I have really important emails. Trust me, those emails can wait because you go in there every single minute to go and check your emails, check and see what was happening in the world and all that. Those are another set of people that are really struggling for your attention. Now, I'm very sure you understand that attention is one of the biggest currencies in the world right now in the sense that if you can get many people to do a particular thing, companies will literally pay you lots and lots of money to get the attention of your audience. So that is part of the reasons why you, don't, you should not really look into what you're getting in your Gmail. Trust me, if it's really important, it can wait. So just have a specific time of the day you normally go to check out your Instagram or your Twitter or whatever, your email, whatever the direction it is. If not, just totally turn them off. Now, number two is that you need to avoid friends. Now, this particular one is quite tricky because most times you'll be thinking about it that okay my friends i love my friends i want to be with my friends i don't want to appear pushy i don't want to appear like that guy that they'll say okay he, he, he looks like he wants to make a lot of money how much money has he, has he even made and all those kind of things all those things can easily get into our head but trust me it doesn't really matter when you finally start seeing results but trust me you're not going to see results if you do not stop all these things that are hindering you from getting that result which is distraction so you need to avoid your friends a whole lot. In fact, find a place where you would necessarily not be disturbed by anybody. When I was in, when I was in university, I remember very clearly that whenever I'm done with lectures, I think I used to be done with lectures by like 2 p.m. ish, I used to go to the library and in the library there's an isolated spot that I used to go there to go and read and study. So most people thought I was just playing around or just fooling myself, not until I became a first class student in that particular semester, you know, because of how focused i was so it's just too important that you take your take out your time and try to isolate a bit in fact i'm, I'm not a big fan of isolation but sometimes you just need to like put yourself outside so that you can focus on what really matters to you and to your life in general now the third step is you need to have a time management system now if you remember when i was talking about the first step when i said turn off your notifications and all that i talked about you having a specific time that you can go to check all those notifications because i once lost admission back then in 20 um 2015 in getting into the university or college as many of you like to call it just simply because i did not read the email that the school sent to me that I should come for an exclusive exam because i passed but you know my cutoff mark was not just up to what I, what I would need to enter that particular department. So they called me back and said, okay, come on board and come and write another exam and enter into a different department. But I didn't even see that email at all. So in as much as I'm telling you that you should turn off your emails, yes, there are emails that are super important that you need to see. And that's why you need to have a time management system. You need to have time where you're going to fix for your social media. You need to have time that you fix for you hanging out with your friends. You need to have time for your, for your business and all. For me now, what I currently do every single day is I ration four hours per day to work and it's usually at the early hours of the day let's say from around I wake up quite early so from around like five to nine I'm really I'm usually done with every work that has to do with my creative thinking that stuff like scripting my videos for my YouTube channel um, stuff like checking out on my um, businesses doing finances and some of all those things that really moves my business so that's what those four hours are for then every other time of the day I could do follow-ups with my team members and do some of all those things so Trust me, you only need four active hours every single day for you to really be successful. Now, the reason why I say this is because there's something called the rule of three. Now, how this works is that if you try something for three hours every single day for 30 days, you will have almost done it a thousand times or for 1000 hours. And there's nothing you put your putting effort for 
1000 hours in a month or sorry in a year rather that you won't see results if you're not seeing results then you can allow free to move on because you put in enough adequate effort into that particular thing so you need to have a time management system basically a system that will tell you when exactly to do what how exactly to do what and how exactly to carry out some of all these activities so that you can in fact i usually tell people that in your time management system you need to put in time for you to enjoy it's too important okay now step four is that you need to have clear goals one of the reasons why people are usually distracted is because they don't necessarily know where they're going to now a good example is imagine you're going to a particular place in a different country and you don't really know where that particular place is you most likely find yourself that you'll be obviously stopping at different areas trying to ask for directions trying to do one or two things all these things that only just happen just because you do not necessarily know or have a clear path to where you're going to so always have a clear goal find out what it is that can drive you so that you go straight to that particular goal and you don't look back so for me back then i remember when i was trying to take first position i've said this thing so many times the first time i took first position in my in my life i think it was when i was still in university sorry when i was in secondary school rather ss1 and I had a clear goal that I was going to take first position that single that particular year and on average you have to score 80 in all your subjects so I had a goal of hitting 90 on every single subject that I come across in that particular term so what I simply did was that I was aiming for 90 so that even if I fall I fall to 80 or something so that's that particular semester or that particular term I actually came first position you know and that was just simply because I had a clear goal. So a clear goal would always help you make a lot of money for yourself and help you avoid all these distractions that we've been talking about. Before I tell you what step five is, please, if you've been enjoying the content, please like and subscribe this video. Please share with your friends. I really appreciate it. It's going to do the channel a whole lot of good. Now, step five is that you should try and take breaks. Now, nobody talks about this every time. People tell you you should work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard, and all that. So one of the reasons why you always look distracted is because you're trying to be in so many places or trying to do so many things at the same time you're not taking enough break you're not allowing your your brain to relax that's where your time management system comes in because your time management system will tell you exactly when to take a break when to shoot when not to shoot and all that like even in my four hour system for every 45 minutes i spend i have a 20 minutes break now that is good for my eye that is good for my brain and that is good for my thinking in general so all these things all come together both turning off your notification avoiding friends and staying in a secluded place for a particular amount of time you know creating your time management system and having goals and taking breaks they all come together to generally help you develop in general because now is the social media age and we're seeing a lot of things happening every single day around us and we cannot but not ignore some of all those things so but if you have systems that will show you exactly or teach you or guide you on exactly what to do and what not to do is really going to help you a whole lot so i hope you learned from this video i look forward to seeing you in the next video